Ever wish you could live your last week all over again? Well, my name's Frank B. Parker, and I do it all the time. I work for a secret government project experimenting in time travel. When things really get screwed up, I'm the guinea pig they send back to take care of it. Catch is, I can only go back seven days. President, she's the Statue of Liberty, isn't she? She's got a hold on you, and you feel like you need to rescue her. Only sometimes you're not up to the task. Yeah, sometimes. A little perspective here. Your approval rating is way up. People think you're doing a great job. They trust you. I won't kill a man, Grace. Now, don't get me wrong. He deserves it. General Escalante. He's been our son of a bitch in Peru for 15 years. All the aid we've sent him. He's built the most lethal drug cartel in this hemisphere. He's killing our kids. I can't let that go. Well, these kinds of decisions are made by world leaders all the time. No, not by me. I didn't spend my whole life working my way up to the highest office in the world just to order hits like some mafia thug. Um. No rest for the weary, Grace. Come on in. Excuse me, sir. We've got to move along. Thanks, Grace. Agent Putnam will come you back to your office. Yes, sir. on South America. Peruvian dictator Miguel Escalante, long reputed to be a key figure in the Malanegro drug cartel, has been added to Amnesty International's list of top 10 human rights violators. He has reportedly increased the strength of an already formidable military force with the addition of six new armored brigades. Meanwhile, the Peruvian economy tumbles lower. A back door man Well, I don't know But the little girl I'm saying in Washington Indicated We're trying to see if it's possible I'll let you know Holy mother of God 
residual checks every time it plays. You know. Careful. That's live lava. Ow! Ow! Oh, you make me want to... Sing Mandy? Solitary man. You know what? Not even you guys are going to ruin my day today. Because in less than 24 hours, there's going to be one less scumbag dictator in the world. Uh-oh. Someone's been listening on the Black Ops chat line again. That's right. You know, every time I think the president's going namby-pamby on me... He makes the hard call. He's gonna whack Escalante? Yeah. The days of pussyfooting around with these embargoes are over. There's a U.S. task force on its way right now to settle his hash. And you know how I know all this? Because I am, am a backdoor back man. man. Uh, 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 uh. Morons. <laughs> <laughs> nice Woo! job. Rides on past. My partner cut his hand on a broken window downstairs. She's not that kind of doctor, boys. Let me take a look at that. Oh. Hold it right there! <laughs> I can't believe Grace Wyman would be party to some conspiracy against me. Sir, all we know is that one of our agents was murdered in her office. Now she's gone and so are the recordings of your sessions with her. Mr. President, I need to ask if whatever you said on those tapes should get out, how bad could this be? Yes. What? him through on a secure line. It's Escalante. Just a kid running through the woods and I'm scared. <laughs> I am so frightened. That I wet the bed like a baby. I'm being chased by a black knight. How'd you get that, Escalani? I don't think that matters right now. Do you? I won't kill a man, Grace. Now don't get me wrong. He deserves it. General Escalani. He's been our son of a bitch in Peru for 15 years. What matters is what I'm going to do with it. But these are liberal times and Maybe the American people, they're ready to forgive their president anything. Infidelity, a uh, little coke in college. Maybe even murder. But I'm not so sure about the rest of the world, you know? Hold on, Mr. President. I've got CZN on the other line. <laughs> I'd like to take this opportunity to announce a turning of the tide with one of our neighbors to the south. Mm-hmm. Escalante's about to get his hiney munched. General Escalante, who has formerly been a thorn in the side of democracy in Latin America, has agreed to cooperate with our drug enforcement goals. Because of this, I am officially lifting our deadline for him to step down. What? Furthermore, we have agreed to lift our embargo and to grant him the status 
a full trade partner. Escalante, didn't he just hit the top of the charts in human rights violations? You think he changed his policies? Yeah, and maybe I'm my own grandpa. I'd believe that before I believe Escalante is one of the good guys. Mr. President, I sold out, Howard. But you're still here. Yes, I'm still here. And every pocket Hitler out there smells blood in the White House. They're loading up their slingshots. All right, rebels are taking over the capital of Namibia. Our ambassador just got kicked out of Afghanistan. And there's also a troop buildup on the Chinese border. Looks like they're finally going to make their move on Taiwan. So where do we backstep to? Washington. The panel has determined that this is a national security crisis. Seven days ago, Grace Wyman, the president's psychiatrist, disappeared, and her Secret Service agent was killed. So the president's a head case? Well, that's just what we need in the Oval Office. Also missing are her tapes of the president's sessions. The panel believes they ended up in the hands of one of our nation's enemies. Somebody's blackmailing the president? No, it has to be Escalante. That's why Maxwell caved. Frank, we're not sure whether Dr. Wyman is culpable or not, but the panel strongly believes this situation had to have been orchestrated from the highest level of government. Only someone at that level would know about the recent change in Maxwell's psychiatrist. You're to lock down Dr. Wyman and those tapes so we can find out who's behind this. We're an immediate go before World War III gets triggered. Good deal. Our intel puts Dr. Wyman's disappearance at just before two o'clock. He'll arrive in time to get to her office and find out what the hell happened. It's a little weird for the president to have a civilian shrink. Well, his usual psychiatrist from Bethesda died six months ago. Dr. Wyman was his analyst while he was governor. She was uh, deeply trusted and her reputation was impeccable. Probably flipped out and turned traitor. I beg your pardon? I never met a shrink who wasn't crazier than me. Uh, I have a degree in psychology. Yeah, not the party that's suspect. This could go very close to the top, Frank. Be careful who you trust. Good luck. Speaking of trust, yeah. promise me you will never, ever pull that camera prank on me. What do you mean, all, all, the, all the time? Come on, we're making a fortune. Oh, oh, oh. Promise. Oh, oh okay, yes, yes. Yeah. So I can trust you then? Yes, absolutely, yes. Okay. <sighs> Not. Mr. Parker. Mr. Parker, I'm warning you. Reactor at 80%. Reactor at 90%. Godspeed, Frank. 100%. Engage. Conundrum. I hate to make Ramsey's day, but I need you to make an appointment for me. I won't kill a man, Grace. Yes? Ma'am, somebody here to see you. Hi, I'm Frank Parker. I am. I, uh, need to have my head examined. Mr. Parker, I appreciate that you're referred by the top brass at the NSA, but as I told them, I'm in the middle of something very important. Look, nothing's as important to our future as you seeing me right now. Okay, you know what, in 15 minutes? I'd rather wait in there with you. I am making private notes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Mr. Parker. Mr. Parker. I'm sorry. Come on. Thank you.
Just have a seat, Mr. Parker. Uh, thank you. Are you worried about time? What? Do you have a problem with time? Uh, well, if you only knew. Well, you'll have to tell me all about it. Session 1, Frank Parker, 1.53 p.m. Do you, um, do you, uh, do you work alone? Everything that's said here is absolutely confidential. So, what was it that you wanted to tell me? I keep having this dream. A dream? Yeah. Go on. Well, um... I'm in this pilot seat. An airplane? Not exactly. It's more like a big blue ball. A blue ball. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's rocking like crazy. And, and I've got my hand on the joystick, but it's hell to hang on. And I feel like... I feel like my head's gonna explode. Okay, um... And I, well, the rocking stops, and I, uh, I climb out, and uh, um, I look up in the sky, and I see this woman. She's like naked, but she, she's just floating there, you know, up in the sky. Do you know her? Yes. And, and no, she's, uh, she, she calls me Mr. Parker. She has this Russian accent. I see. And, uh, but she you know, starts floating down, and I'm heading toward her, and she's getting closer to me, and I'm getting closer to her, and we're approaching each other, and, and it, uh, all gets hazy. You lose her? Yes, I lose her, exactly. Mr. Parker, you're wasting my time. Huh? It's obvious that you just made that up. You were searching for something to say. I'm here five minutes, and you're saying I'm a liar? Why are you here? Well, I... I'm unstable. Do you really believe that? Yeah, everybody believes it. Let me guess, particularly women? Well, uh... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm just gonna go on a limb here, Mr. Parker. You never really knew your mother, either. Excuse me. Stay there. Yes, right now. Two shots fired. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. You know them. Uh, uh, this is Gary, and he's my Secret Service agent. I called 911. Good, we'll be fine. Oh, these, these guys are FBI agents? Oh my god. They may not be real FBI agents. But they have badges. I know, I know, it doesn't look good. Okay, um. Look, I don't want to be judgmental, but there are three bodies here on the floor, and... I need those tapes you made with the president. What? Move! Now! There's a damn phone when you need one. So I don't want to antagonize you, but you've got to realize that we have a problem here, and I am just trying to help. I don't expect you to understand, but uh, I think those guys might have been trying to kill you. Uh, we could explore that. Don't talk to me like I'm one of your patients. You are one of my patients. And if you turn yourself in now, I'll make sure that no one's going to hurt you. Oh, gee, thanks, but I don't think you'll have much to say about it somehow. Mr. Parker, if you think that we are in danger, there are people I can call, people who can protect us. Sorry, but we can't trust anyone you know right now. Don't look at me like I'm paranoid. I'm not diagnosing you. Yes, you are. Oh, hell. Uh... What are you doing? 
Are they looking at us? Who? The police. Don't look. Come on. We gotta get off the street. let the media define my character, then it's our own damn fault. That's why it's important that we hang tough on this Escalade thing. Mr. President? Well, uh, that'll be it for now, y'all. We'll, uh, we'll take this up uh, later. Thank you, Mr. President. We believe this is the man who kidnapped Dr. Wyman. NSA? His affiliation is highly sketchy, but apparently he served some time in a CIA mental institution. How's Agent Putnam? In critical condition, but he's going to pull through. If this lunatic's got grace... Don't worry, sir. We'll find them. And those tapes. Crazy worries? Is this a hiding place? Okay, okay. Go with me. Let me go. Okay, all right. I'm gonna come with you. I'm from a special branch with the NSA. I was sent to retrieve you and those tapes in your bag. I see. Those guys in your office? The agents? Whoever. They were there to steal them. They're gonna try and blackmail the president. You understand? We don't know how high up this goes. Tell you the truth, the people I work for aren't exactly sure you're not involved. Me? I would never betray a patient, especially the President of the United States. Oh, well, that's what I'm starting to think right now. So how do you know any of this? Because I work from Intel so highly classified, not even the President knows about it. Oh, well, I just thought that maybe you were... In that case, I get that a lot. No, I'm... I'm sure that there's a very logical explanation. Are you humoring me? No. Okay, then we're gonna get out of here quietly, and then I'm gonna call my boss to bring us in. You with me? Absolutely. Can I trust you? A hundred percent. Good. Help! What are you doing? Help! Help! Oh, jeez. Give me a break. <sighs> this man is an escaped mental patient. No, 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 no. Grace! Grace! Don't! I'm certified. Put your hands where I can see him, dude. So how crazy are you? Give me that. Yeah, he's whack. You know what I'm saying. Otherwise, I would have taken him down, no problem. Thanks a lot. How you feeling now, Dr. Wyman? Oh, I, I'm relieved. I'm just glad to be alive. I'm glad that you guys are, too. Look, if you don't mind, we'd like to take you down to FBI headquarters. Oh, yeah, sure. It was a classic paranoid schizophrenic. I just don't know how this happens. What about the president's tapes? You still have them? Does everyone know about them? <laughs> It's the FBI's job to know these things, ma'am. Oh, well, I put them in a very safe place. Where are the tapes, Doctor? Uh, well, maybe we should talk to the President personally. I don't think so. Ah! Oh, ah! Ah! Hi, what'll it be? Bicycle, crunch cone, rocket bob? Ooh, something with nuts? Definitely. Parker was right. We don't have much time, ma'am. You're gonna tell me where those tapes are.
killed me. I knew you were the seatbelt type. <sighs> he is listed as missing from Hanson Island, a government penitentiary for the criminally insane. That's been running all over the D.C. area. He didn't tell you anything about what his mission might be? He said there was no time. He was going to report back after his appointment with Dr. Wyman. Well, the ugly truth comes out. Hanson Island, the whole shebang. Mr. Ramsey, would you please stop that constant annoying diatribe about how insane Mr. Parker is, how he should never have been allowed in this program? Come on, man. Frank's out there on his own. Look, everybody relax. All I'm saying is that the cover's blown on Hanson Island. I mean, where's the agency going to put all the rest of their nut jobs? <laughs> well, come on, don't just sit there. If we're going to help him, we've got to find him. You put the tapes where? In the mailbox. And don't yell at me, okay? I thought you were a crazed lunatic at the time, which doesn't seem like I was that far off the mark. You know, you really don't have to worry. The tapes are in an official envelope, and even without postage, they will end up at the White House. Yeah, but once it gets there, it's gonna pass through a dozen people. I told you, we can't trust anybody. Why do you think that you are the one person responsible for the fate of the free world? Lady, you don't know the half of it. Lady? Wow, you do have problems with women, don't you? Oh. Especially strong women. What? Is this about my dream again? Look, you nailed me on that one, okay? I made it up. Yes, but it comes from your subconscious. So I was right about your mother, wasn't I? What is this? I, I didn't even know my mother. I'm an orphan. Yes, and that's why you idealize her. So you're fine with women as long as they're up on their pedestals, or I suspect you drag them through the mud. Oh. But if they're actually on the same level with you and able to keep up with you, well, that's scary. Oh, uh, look, Olga. <laughs> what were you going to say? Nothing. Do you give in to all of your impulses? Every time I get. Can we quit talking about me now? Sorry. Old habit. We're too late. It's been picked up already. Come on, have you ever known a mailman to be on time in your life? Ah! Was that necessary? To me, yeah. You know what? Just for my benefit, can we try a mantra that I use on my more impulsive patients? Hey, can I borrow this for we a second? Going to Thanks. Bring it down and bring it. Up. Hey, it was worth a shot. Aren't you a little young to be the president psychiatrist? My age has nothing to do with it. I graduated first in my class at Harvard and second in my class at Johns Hopkins. Can I ask you a question? Why do you harbor so much resentment against psychiatrists? No resentment. I just think you're a bunch of quacks. Based on a lot of experience, no well, doubt. What makes you think I have any experience with psychiatrists? All right. Maybe I have had a certain amount of contact with shrinks. You know how much good it did me? I can see. Exactly. Version like what? I don't know, whatever works for you. How about uh, screaming that somebody robbed you? Oh, wait, you have this whole John Wayne shoot everybody up and take names later to loss of hand life, don't you? What's your point? You have a badge? Use it. I'm perfectly capable of playing along with whatever deception you come up with. You want a subtle approach? Yes. Fine. NSA, bomb disposal unit. What? Well, we think it's probably just a hoax. Yeah, but we could all be spam inside of ten minutes, you know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> okay, you need to check all the mail headed to the White House. Where is it? Those bins. But you need to talk to my supervisor, and she's on her lunch break. Oh, okay, well, why don't you wait here, and we'll go find her. Oh, hell no. No, no. A bomb? That's a subtle approach? You said you could handle whatever I came up with. And that guy is gonna go and tell everybody else in this building! Are you gonna help or what? You need to bring it down and bring it in. This is my pile. Go get your own. You assured me that I'd have them by now. Bad luck. What can I say? One of her patients flipped out and stole them. 
two of my best men are on it. And I have an invasion hanging over me. And I'm working on an alternate plan, Manuel. You better. You got a lot to lose. Listen, I am the only one in Washington who understands your worth to this country. No. My worth to you personally, Mr. Eastman. The drugs, the oil, the business transactions that you do down here. You will get what I promised. Just remember, if I go down, I plan to spill blood and name names. Comprende? I hate dictators. Bob, I don't know how Escalante got the tapes. Fire me, I'll take the hit. Well, how do we know for sure he has them? He played them for me over the phone. It was pretty rough stuff. And he's threatening to play them for the international press. We gotta keep this between us. Now, I'm not gonna be held hostage. I'm not gonna allow this presidency to be held hostage. Bob, let's face facts. As dirty as he is, he keeps the status quo in South America. Now, my advice is to announce a tentative peace with him at your speech tonight. Go on the defensive. Hold on to power, no matter the cost. Well, I gotta tell you, Howard, I wish to God we had another option. So do I, Bob. Thought this was supposed to be the age of email. Oh, guys, stop what you're doing immediately. This is a federal offense. Oh, but that's okay, because we're federal employees. Show them your badge. Right, uh... Here. Oh, uh, well, we got a bomb. Give me the bomb. Oh. Don't even think about it. Drop your gun in the bin. Do it. Run. Okay. Easy. Easy. judge yourself based on the last couple of hours. They haven't exactly been normal. But they have been illuminating. Yeah. So we need to let the president know that the tapes are safe. Right? Right. Well, does he know you? No. He knows me. Sorry. I'm gonna get you as close to the president as I can, okay? I think that's far enough. Escalante plays the tapes, you're dead. 
I can't say a fundraiser is the perfect place to announce a deal with him, but frankly, I don't see any other choice. I know what I have to do. Now just give me a few minutes here to go over these changes, so when I read them off the teleprompter, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Bob, we will make this work. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. You guys uh, have a juggling act, something. So I'd like to take this opportunity to announce a turning the tide with one of our neighbors to the south. General Escalotti was pulling in a form on the side of democracy. Lady Mary has agreed to cooperate. Who are you? I'm Batman. You're in a whole heap of trouble, mister. I don't think so. You're obviously highly trained. I need to know who you work for and what you've told me. Like I said, I'm the Cape Crusader, and I haven't told anybody anything, okay? Oh! <coughs> All right, okay, All right. I told my butler, Alfred, but you can trust him. He won't say anything. Oh! Oh! Went and lied to the president, didn't you, huh? Now he thinks Escalante has those tapes already. That's why he's making his announcement. Maxwell's a compassionate man. I have no quarrel with his domestic policies, but he needs some guidance on the global picture. And you're gonna teach him, oh yeah, whether he likes the lesson or not. Much as we hate to admit it, the world needs men like Escalante. He keeps a certain status quo that has its advantages. Where's that coming from? Yeah, there's always goons like you who want to do business hmm? with. It's all about the money, isn't it? Somewhere down the line. Last chance. Who do you work for? Get rid of them. Stop! Everybody just stop! I've had just about as much of this as I am going to take. I want my tanks back right now or I'll blow all of your heads off! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Grace, Grace, you need to bring it down and bring it in. Drop the weapon. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Clear. Oh, the president is here, and he is an honorable man, unlike you, Mr. Eastman, you pig. Bob, thank God. What's going on? They had the tapes. We got them back. Mr. President, I'm Frank Parker, and I'm with the NSA. Oh! No! These two men tried to steal your tapes. Bob, there's a conspiracy, all right, and she's part of it. She sold your secrets to Escalante. Mr. President, I did not. And since he's obviously made copies already, I see no choice but to make your announcement. No, I'm gonna make an announcement, Howard. I'm gonna announce your resignation. Bob, that's a mistake. I see now that trusting you was a mistake. It's a nice toy. It comes in handy, sir. You just saved me from making a mistake in my life. Think of it as a second chance, sir. Grace, how you doing? I'm all right. Um, but I can't be your therapist anymore. What? I mean, I, I, I talk real big. But your kind of problems are just way out of my league. This whole situation with Escalante, I can't, I can't advise you. I have no idea what you should do. Now, don't you worry. I do. Why have I not heard from Eastman? Don't worry, General. I just received a call from Washington. 
You heard from Washington? President Maxwell himself told me he will back me all the way in ridding our country of its major problem. What major problem is that? You, General. Adelante! Vasu! Ahora sacrito! Consider this democracy in action. Our time is up, but we seem to be really getting somewhere. Wow, I can't believe I'm doing this. I ought to have my head examined. Yes? Mr. Parker, the car is here. Oh, excuse me, you're still... No, 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 come on in. I want you to meet Dr. Grace Wyman. Grace, fellow co-worker, Dr. Olga Vukovic. Olga. Dr. Vukovic. Nice to meet you. Dr. Wyman, hello. What's your field of study? Oh, bits and pieces. Uh, microbiology, neurology, a little bit of psychology. Really? Yeah, we really should get going. And thanks very much for everything. Maybe we should exchange views sometime. <laughs> Isn't it unethical? Not between professionals. Not if we don't name names. You've probably noticed the subject's libido is completely oversubstantiated and his self-concept is hardly past the adolescent phase. Well, true, but he does have an extended capacity for intuitive problem-solving. When he manages to subdue his sexually-based hyperaggression. Yeah, classic male-god complex. Oh, please. Come on, Olga. 